News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. New immigration numbers from Brownsville confirm things have slowed down at the border since the lifting of Title 42. There was a big drop in the number of migrants being processed. You can see this past Monday, just six migrants were processed. All 19 victims from that deadly bus stop crash in Brownsville have been identified. 18 of them were from Venezuela and one was from Colombia. Eight people died, 11 others were hurt. George Alvarez is the accused driver. He's facing multiple manslaughter and aggravated assault charges. More relief is coming for people in Laguna Heights after that deadly tornado this past weekend. In Cameron County, they're opening up a disaster assistance center today. Several state and local organizations, including these, will be there to offer their services and help out in any way they can. The center will be set up at the Port Isabel Event Center from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Turning now to weather, there is a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms later today. Highs would be in the upper 80s. That's News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.